every year I got to fix a broken transducer mount. I think I found the solution though. My name's Randy and you're watching Go Midwest Fishing. So it's really annoying how cheap they make these mounts. They're just a little plastic bracket and they break every single year I have to replace this thing. I've tried gluing it, putting epoxy on it, all kinds of stuff. And you know, it always breaks at the worst possible moment, usually on the first day of a fishing trip. And uh, once again, I brought my boat out for the first time this year and going down the lake and it broke right off. But you know, I will admit it was repaired from last year. I had it all glued up or whatever because it broke last year too and I got sick of buying transducer mounts. Uh, it keeps adding up, you know, $20, $30 a pop to get a new mount. So I went the little more expensive route, but hopefully a permanent solution so I never have to buy this again. Here's what I got. It's in this little box. I haven't even taken it out yet. It is a magnetic transducer mount. So if you hit anything or, uh, you know, running into the ground or anything, it'll just pop off this mount instead of breaking the mount. And, but the magnets are strong enough that you can drive full speed and it won't fall off the boat. So we're going to put that to the test. They do come in many varieties. This is a bolt-on version. So you bolt this back plate. Let's see if I can even get it off. It's really strong. So here's the plate that bolts to the boat like that. So that's the plate you see. It has a little piece of foam in between there. And then here's the magnetic base. So, boom, don't want to get your fingers caught in there. Looks like it's pretty solid. It says warning, powerful magnets. Yeah, it is. And then it has a little bracket here. I'll have to figure this out. Yeah, I'll take this apart and uh, make sure I get it on there right. And then uh, we'll get it installed on the boat. I'll let you see what happens. All right, I've got this little sheet here that shows how to put this together. It has, uh, for my setup, I got a Humminbird 598 side scan. It's a little bit bigger transducer than a regular one, but not as quite as big as some of those out there. And it has a little an extension arm here if you need to use it. I just put on this one piece here, so it kind of looks like that. And then this just pinches together on your transducer mount. So I'm gonna try to get away with just this one arm. You can always add an extension if you need it. All right, first thing I'm going to do is just remove the old transducer mount. All right, the old bracket here, you just got to pop open this. And this lifts up, and we got the screws underneath. Just pull those screws out. Looks like I only got two screws in there. Yeah, it comes right off. Clean this up a little bit. Got all my caulk in there from the old one here. Here's a closer look at the old one. You see they just break right around where they uh, make the circle there to connect the other one. Very weak point on these ones. All right, I got it pieced together how I think I like it. Just the one arm onto the transducer. Humming, ooh, sticks to the bolts. <laughs> Hummingbird comes with these little disc spacers, whatever, that go on either side of the mount there. And I had those on and it uh, was kind of wobbly on here. So I took these little spacers out and just connected it directly to the uh, base there. And so far my only concern is, if it's, is it going to be tight enough if I can, you know, I can still kind of move it. So you really got to cinch down on this wing nut here to keep it nice and firm. Because this doesn't have any of those little, um, I don't know if you can see, the little kind of grooved pieces that fit into the old mount. This is just a smooth base there, so it has nothing to grip on. So when I put it on the boat here, I just want to make sure it's going to stay where I put it and not be sliding up and down and changing position. So that'll be one thing we test out when we get it on the lake. Alright, I marked out the holes where I want it to go. I'm going to use one of the existing holes right here and drill three new holes. If 
Before we screw this thing on, I'm just gonna put some, I use gutter seal, it works well underwater, and uh, fill up these holes. The base plate here has eight screw holes, and they give you four stainless screws. So I guess four is all that's really needed. <laughs> it likes to stick to things. It's hard to use your screwdriver. All right, let's screw this thing on. All right, it's screwed on. Let's put this thing on. It's kind of scary. There he goes. All right, there it is. Back you up a little. So now I just got to make sure the transducer's, you know, the right way. I said it's, it's a little bit loose, so I'm just going to tighten it up more. Once it gets in the water, uh, I'll see how the boat sits, and then just kind of make some adjustments on the water. Give it as tight as I can get it. That should hold it. Now to take this thing off, you just turn it sideways, pull it off. So even when you're trailering, you can just take it off, throw it in the back of your boat if you want. So it ain't out, you know, any rocks kick, kick up or whatever, it won't hit it. But if something does hit it, like I said, it will just, it should just flip up or pop off, one of the two. All right, to finish up, we're just going to clean it up nice and put some dip, zip ties around it here. Keeps the cord from flopping around in the water. Not real tight there, just trim it up nice. So that's the complete installation, pretty easy. It only takes a few minutes to do. Now I'm about ready to head out on a fishing trip and we're gonna go test it on the lake to make sure it works as good as they say it does. So I'll meet you out on the lake. Well, real quick before we head on the lake, I got this from fishfindermounts.com. Seems to be the only place I could uh, find it directly from their website. And it cost me just over $100. I used uh, expedited shipping because I'm about ready to head on the lake in about two days and I had to make sure it was here. All right. Now we'll see you on the lake. All right, I'm using my new transducer mount for the first time and we got a problem. See that, every time I use it, or go at full speed, it just, it kicks up. I can't get this tight enough to stay down there. It's just, it's pretty loose. I tightened it, cranked it with the pliers, everything. And so I'm gonna have to come up with some way to make sure this doesn't move. This one's been pretty good. What I did down here, this one, uh, it's been holding this, just this main arm right here it just it's too way too loose so we'll see what I can come up with all right here's the solution uh, we came up with you see right here I took a piece of 50 pound braided fishing line put it around the magnet part and around this uh, bolt down here so it won't if it tries to go backwards it tightens up this line right here it won't go any further backwards so we're gonna give that a shot see if it works so the fishing line idea to hold the transducer down did not work. It broke right away in the first few minutes when we go in full speed. So what I found out actually works is just to take the bend out of that arm. So I actually had too much of an angle here and it just flip up. So by straightening this out and having it more level with the actual bottom of the boat, it's not down into the current which flips it up. It just kind of rides right where the water comes out and it stays like that just fine. So. That's the key there, is just to make sure it's uh, kind of level with the bottom of your boat and not sticking down below it at all, otherwise it'll, the water will pull it out. So now it works good, and uh, I can still, you know, remove it whenever I need to. You can even flip it upside down when you're traveling so it's sticking up in the air. But there it is. I tried again today and uh, worked good yesterday, so if it works good today, we're all set.